Hi guys, um, today I'm gonna make some Thai chili beef with rice. So it's kind, it's a it's a spicy Thai dish, uh, but I'm not gonna put like very spicy chili. So it's gonna not it's not gonna as be spicy as when you get it in the restaurant. I've first tried it in the Busa Bar, uh, is, which is a restaurant, and they have a very nice Thai food. And uh, I've tried their Thai chili beef. It was so spicy, but it was really, really delicious. So I thought I'm gonna try and make it home. And let's start. So first, I'm gonna make the rice pot. I'm gonna fill up with uh, some rice for maybe two to four portions. So we can eat afterwards as well to make some fried rice. So I'm gonna make... For just a month. Okay. And let's go ahead to the station and wash the rice and I will, I will tell you how much uh, water I put. I don't have a rice cooker so I normally just cook it in the, in the pan like this in the pot. So yeah, let's go ahead and wash it first and then we're gonna do the cookings. So I've washed my rice and I've put it, uh, enough water. So what I do is I put my hand inside and you can see that my thumbs are covering up by the water. So I'm gonna put a little less water because it's a little bit too much. Okay, now I think it's the... As you can see that it covers a little more than it's supposed to be. So I will use a little more water. And I think this is uh, really good. I'll put there and turn on the heat. You want to wait for the rice, to, the water to boil with the rice, and then you turn down the heat and put the lid on. And it takes about five to ten minutes for the rice to be cooked. So I'm going to just put the lid next to it to get prepared. And our big wok for the for the Thai chili beef. While we wait for the rice to be cooked, we start to cut the vegetables and prepare for the the Thai chili beef. So what I have here is the round beans. Look, it says it's originally from Morocco. I actually always thought that the waitress food is all produced in the UK, but yeah, why not? Morocco beans. And here's some basil essential and also coriander. Also quite essential. And I have here some leftover like uh, peppers and onions that I used from the previous dish. And I was just thinking why not just use all of them and some garlic. And let's start with uh, washing the vegetables and I'll be back in a second. So I have washed all my vegetables that I need. So I'm gonna get start preparing the ingredients. So well, I'm gonna do the garlic first. You can hear the rice is uh, boiling on the side. Okay, I'll do four. Four cloves of the garlic. I realized that every time when you put garlic into whatever you're cooking, it just tastes really good because of the the aroma that the garlic gives the food. It's just some other level. So I can hear the rice is boiling even faster. So I'm gonna turn down the heat on the rice. I'll just show you guys in a second. So the rice is uh, so the rice is boiling like quite nicely. So I'm gonna just turn down the heat here. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the heat to very generous amount, like three to two, and cover the lid. And you wait for the magic to happen. So let's back to the cutting station. Put you here. Turn down the tripod. So I'm just using a tripod in front of me. That's how I filmed the, 
the footages and I just realized that it's kind of like a first person's view so hope it doesn't really um, interrupt the whole process of me cooking okay so now the garlic has been cut let's just chop them You can use a garlic presser, there's no much of difference just as long as the garlic has been chopped throughout fully and I think it's good I have a garlic presser, sometimes when I'm lazy I like to use the garlic presser but since I'm up for it, I just cut them with hand So I hope you guys had a good week, it's been a long week, I've uploaded quite a lot of contents this week and which is a good start for me I guess and since the garlic has been cut now let's move on to the onion and pepper, onion, pepper, okay, onions I like to chop quite uh, small dices into this dish sometimes i just leave them like long stripe of garlic but this dish i like prefer when it's like when it's quite diced into small cubes okay i just put them aside of the garlic they go in the same time to the pan almost the same time. I put the garlic first all the time when I'm cooking. Oh, I forgot. This time we need to put the basil first because it gives the oil a normal sort of shunt. Okay. Very good. And now basil. So what I like to do with the basil is that I'll, I'll just pick them with hands. You don't need to cut them, you don't need to chop them, you don't need to do anything about them. You just take big chunks of leaves out and see here, here, leaves, leaves. So I said I'm gonna put the basil first into the cooking process and then afterwards it's garlic followed by onion you can put less basil if you want to but I prefer when it's like quite good amount like maybe 10 to 15 pieces of the leaves and now Let's put this aside and cut in the pepper. Just to take them out. Oh look, there's little babies of the green onions in the red ones. Interesting. Pick this up. Okay. Cut them into stripes. Can cut them into big stripes. I am still gonna dice them so they keep the same shape as the onion. Very good. I'm gonna place it there. Obviously, coriander. I love coriander. I know that there are some people who doesn't like to eat coriander because of the smell it get it has. But I feel like, you know, if you cook like dumplings, you can use 
coriander. It gives really nice aroma to the food afterwards. Just, I think it's because my mom, she likes to use uh, coriander when she cooks uh, in a lot of dishes. Dumplings, definitely dumplings and some uh, fr like stir fried stir fried cuisine, stir fried um, like with beef or with uh, just vegetables coriander is a nice vegetable I really love so next let's cut up the beans the beans are a little bit tricky so make sure you leave yourself some space to the beans okay I'll hold a little bit less okay I like to cut the ends off as you can see that the bean is like this I cut these two ends off so they are good and you cut them into half this is the shape that you want it's good it can take generous amount where you can get tidy up the ends Definitely not to try to grab more because you might end up not cleaning the ends very well. Like it might be too much in the hand. And just check. Oh look, there's two of them which I didn't cut nicely. If you do one by one, it's definitely more... Um, it will be better than a bunch, but I just like to do it fast, so I'm going to do it by groups of the beans. And I, I, I still don't know why they are called round beans. They are not round. Long beans, green, no, green beans, yeah, I understand. I'll probably look up why they are called round beans. Maybe because of inside of the beans, they are round. Can show you one okay let's cut up the beans so let me know in the comments what cuisines you like you guys like the most like indian cuisine thai cuisine chinese cuisine british cuisine We're almost there. A few more beans. Rice is cooking nicely on the side. So it's been some sunshine in the in the UK. I think it's really nice these days, but it gets so hot. I don't have air conditioner at home, so I'm just stuck with it. Stuck with the warm weather when it's too warm. You just want to go somewhere with the air conditioner. Okay, let's check. I think because of this little guys, you see the bean from inside. Maybe it, that's because it's that's why it's called round beans because it's quite round, isn't it? Okay. Last one. Okay, and I'm gonna transfer them into the into this bowl so it will be easier for me to put them while I'm cooking.
good. Perfect. And I'm gonna transfer the coriander into the plate as well. Perfect. I'll clean this up while I take you guys to the next to my working station. Working. Okay. Okay. So let's check on the rice first. I think it's ready to be served yeah if you're not sure if they are cooked you can always try a little bit yeah they are cooked i'll put them on the side i'm gonna switch off the heat from the rice and we get prepared to cook our main dish turn on the heat Put a little bit of sunflower oil. I'm gonna cook the beef first. So prepare yourself a separate bowl. So when the beef is cooked, we can just put it inside the bowl. So the beef I'm using is uh, the minced beef. pack of the beef because uh, I can't think of uh, anything else that I need to be used to cook the minced beef I wait for the oil to warm up if you guys have the gas stove obviously it's much better to cook uh, Asian dishes but I don't mind use the electrical stove because uh, it also it gives that flavor of the food as long as you use a wok i think that's what i personally think i don't know if anyone else seems the same but yeah i think the pan is quite warm now so i'm gonna toss in the big pot it starts Let's move you guys a little closer. Some salt. Some pepper. Walk, walk. quality of my videos will get better along the way just starting up to do the video so hope you can understand the quality I'm just shooting it from my phone and yeah. so cook the beef roughly you don't want to overcook it because you're gonna cook it again afterwards so I think it's good. I'm gonna toss them into the bowl that I have prepared. Very good. Use the 
same wok. And let's put a little bit more sunflower oil, just a little bit. Good. And I'm gonna put the basil in straight away. The pan is warm, you don't need to wait. smell a little bit of the base ocean it's really nice wait for the basil leaf to be a little bit crispier you as you can feel it okay yeah they are cool now let's put in the garlic much I won't be finishing the everything like in once I kind of uh, eat it with the rice in the beginning I will be just with rice and then later in the dinner you can make some fried rice you put some eggs and you put this into it and then you just mix me I'll show you guys next video is will be about the fried rice and how I make fried rice with this and the rice a lot of um, hustle you know to cook twice and everything and this will stay in the fridge perfectly fine and well let's add some sauce soy sauce it's a korean soy sauce but i used to have the chinese soy sauce it's a dark soy sauce which is also great like they both work the same soy sauce work the same and this one i have to put a little bit more because of the the concentration is not as dark as the dark soy sauce so I'll just you pour the soy sauce quite good amount perfect okay next a little salt And the secret Indian ingredient of all is that we call the MSG. Okay, I'm not gonna show you. It's just basically chicken stock. I'm gonna put a good amount. A little bit more because we are cooking a lot. Perfect. Now we're just gonna mix. Okay. 
it's too heavy to do the flip so i'm not gonna do it later my hand will get flipped so i'm just gonna leave it like this until the water really boils up and then you put the lid on it i'm gonna add a little bit of water Also, Evian. Mm, the smell is really good. I can smell all the herbs that mix together the coriander, the basil, the beans, the beef. Try if it's salty enough. Perfect. We will add a little bit more water when it starts to shimmer. I'm gonna put on the lid now. We turn down the heat and now let's wait for about five minutes for the beans to be softened and I will see you guys after five minutes. So five minutes. Let's open the lid up. We're gonna Take away the lid, mix it a little bit. And we're gonna leave it like this and let it cook about uh, five, another five minutes so the, the sauce, the juice, the water inside, it will evaporate and then it will be more condensed. And it will taste much better with the rice so yeah let's just leave it like this you can stir it along the way maybe like stir it every one or two minutes and yeah i will see you guys in five minutes again and we are ready to eat after five minutes aren't you excited i'll show you guys how it will be placed on the plate and how it will, how it will look like in the final result yeah It's definitely ready to be served. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and prepare myself a plate. I'll move you guys to the plate, plating final presenting area. So, rice first. Two, little bit more. Three. That's too much. Wait a second. No, I think it's good. We'll use a big spoon. Scoop the chili, the beef. Put a bit more. And some of the juice goes on top. Perfection. This is how it's gonna be. Let's show you guys close up.
look at that. Mm. Even better than from the restaurant. It's really good. Okay, I'm gonna stop eating. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video of how Thai chili beef is made. And try at home and tell me how it went. And if you think there could be an improvement and how it should be, just let me know anything. Thanks for you guys who are watching this video. And okay, see you guys next one. Bye. Have a good day too.